Okay, so after we have already installed the buzzer, we can go to library, we can include the library. If we scroll down, we might see the buzzer library. And now we're going to have another line of code saying include buzzer. Now we're going to start playing with the buzzer, okay? Okay, so after we have created, after we have our buzzer library, we are going to create our object. Just like we created the DHT sensor, underneath the DHT sensor, we're going to create the buzzer object. And after we have the buzzer object, we are, we already, uh, we're using, it says, what are the pins that we're using on the buzzer object? Okay, so now that we have done this and you have already copied and pasted the second portion of the code, and it's very important that the second portion of the code, it's right after this uh, curly bracket, okay? Because it's a new function. Now the new function is called jingle. So you should have copied and pasted the jingle all the way with the curly bracket. And this is just a jingle that it's gonna play when there is a condition, okay? And here's your task, guys. Now you are going to create a condition that it plays with a certain um, temperature or humidity, okay? Just to give you a tip, you use the if statement. So when you use the if statement, if something happens that you guys, I'm not gonna tell you, you guys should know, when something happens, when it's greater or less than, then it's gonna call jingle okay it's gonna call the jingle function now on computer science and programming we use functions in order to kind of like organize and simplify the code so instead of me calling each tone of the jingle of the buzzer i am going to call jingle then the program is going to jump all the way to void jingle and it's going to start playing the 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 notes okay understood now remember that you should figure out what are the parameters in order to play this now every time that it needs these parameters it's going to uh play the jingle sound okay okay so after i have created my jingle sound i am going to compile the sketch and then automatically I am going to, uh, of course, connect my Arduino and I am going to upload it to the Arduino and start checking the variables, just like I told you before. Now, when I see the variables working, I see that the variables are pretty uh, steady. 26 is the temperature and I am going to start kind of like breathing on top of the temperature sensor and see what happens when it gets to 29 going up so as you can see you hear the sound as soon as the temperature got to 29 that is exactly what you need to code Okay, so that was really fun. So now it's your turn to finish this program. Actually make it work when you there are certain conditions available. This can help for many, many things, okay? Now, you can also modify the tune if you go to the jingle and you start playing with the different notes because this is note A, this is note, um, note A3, A3, F3. These are all the notes that the that the buzzer library has. So you can start playing around with these notes and kind of like figure out what is a different tune, okay? And it will allow you to play different uh, melodies, okay? Good luck.